Okay, so this is a fun little guy right here. So this is the Okai Beetle, and this is an electric scooter. It's really made as a city device, right? It's made to get you from point A to point B. So you're not gonna be going off-roading on this thing, but it's really kind of made for uh, leisurely getting to work, getting to the grocery store, or going to the park or something. And I've been having some fun with this. And so I've partnered with Okai for this video to kind of show you what this electric scooter is all about. And really the first thing I wanna talk about is how easy it is to assemble this thing. So it comes in a pretty small package and then you just open up the box and you do most of the assembly while is actually situated in the box. So you snap together the seat post and then you add the seat on top of that. And then you just assemble the handle bars and all of these steps basically took like 15 to 20 minutes or so uh, to get done after you get all the wrapping and stuff off of it. So if this is your first time putting together any type of like small electric vehicle, don't worry, this is pretty straightforward. And then from this point, you need to actually take one of the two keys that this comes with and then you unlock the footrest and you lift that panel up and then that will give you the battery that you just need to connect the cable to. And it is recommended that you charge this thing up to 100% before you take it out on your first ride. As far as the range that you can get with this battery, it's rated for up to 20 25 miles, but that is dependent on how much you weigh, you know, what type of terrain you're riding on, how many hills you might have in your city, and that will determine how far you can get. So look, I would estimate maybe around 20 miles, maybe 21 miles uh, that most people will get with this thing. But again, this is a point A to point B electric vehicle. You're not trying to, you know, drive across the city with this thing, but it will be able to get you to work to that local park or something close to you. Now, when you finally get to your destination or you just want to store this at home, this scooter only weighs about 58 pounds. So it's not that heavy at all compared to a lot of electric bikes that I review. And this does have a max load of around 220 pounds uh, that this thing is rated to be able to carry. But as I showed you in the kind of the unboxing and assembly portion of this video, the fact that the seat and also the handlebars can collapse down, you just have a couple of latches that you need to undo and they fold down together, makes this really great for storing. So it's not gonna be taking up that much space, especially vertically when you're walking past it because those two things can be folded down. But one thing I do want to see in the next version is maybe some type of rigid handle or something where that will allow me to be able to pick this scooter up and move it um, to another location easily. Uh, maybe they can put that in the next version of this. And now I will admit to you that I was a little bit skeptical about the overall design of this, whether it's going to look too kind of kitty for me, but I actually like the way this thing looks. And it does come in three different colors. So you have pink, white, and also you have the black color that I have here. And I think generally it looks good. All the cables are buttoned up and nothing is really loose or rattling on this thing. So assembly wise, and design wise and just structure wise, it's a pretty nice built electric scooter. Now up on the handlebars, you will find a pretty standard bell. And then also you will find some pretty comfortable grips right here alongside a twist throttle right here. So you'll be able to easily accelerate by twisting it towards you and then decelerate by kind of letting it go and kind of go back into position. Now you also do get a good display here that will be bright enough for you to see out in the daylight. And also it, it will be showing you information like your speed and your distance traveled and things. And also what type of drive mode that you're in. So this scooter does have three different drive modes. So the three different modes you have are eco, standard, and sport. Now eco is gonna be made for getting the maximum distance out of this scooter. And then standard is gonna be a really good balance between distance and also speed. And then of course sport is gonna give you the maximum power from that 350 watt motor that you have inside of this scooter. Now you you know me, I'm gonna be in sport mode most of the time, but uh, yeah, this thing is rated to go up hills that have a 20% grade. Now, I don't know about you, I don't know the grade of all the hills around me out here in St. Louis, um, but I, what I will say is that if you're going up a steep hill, yeah, this thing is gonna be a little bit slow to get up it, but at least you know that going into it. Um, but a little bit of like a decent incline, especially over a long distance will actually be fine and you'll be going at a steady speed. Now the top speed for this is 16 miles per hour, but just like when it comes to distance, that's going to depend on how much you weigh if you're going up hills and stuff. Um, but for me, I was able to get around 14 miles per hour pretty consistently, especially being around here and not having super flat roads to ride on, always having some type of hill to go up or down. Uh, I found that 14 miles per hour was a really good cruising speed. And oh, speaking of cruising, this uh, electric scooter does have built-in cruise control, so you can enable that at any time to be able to maintain that steady speed. And then you can just easily just press on the brakes or something to get out of that cruise control. All right, so now let me get up to speed and test out the braking. So this does have an electronic braking system, which is good because you do have regenerative braking. So as you brake, you can put some power back into the battery. And also this does have front and rear wheel drum brakes that are actually pretty good. I mean, usually when I need to brake, I can get to a stop in a hurry with this uh, little scooter. So breaking is solid. Oh, and I almost forgot to talk about this guy right here. So this is one of the two keys that comes with this electric scooter. Now this key is cool because it does have two different ways that you can use it to unlock this thing. So it basically has two buttons, one for unlock and lock. So once you press the unlock button, 
it makes a little noise and when you press the lock button, it makes another noise. But then also it does have built-in NFC. So you can actually just tap this key on the display and it will unlock it and lock it that way. And then also if you wanna get a little bit more techy, you can download uh, their app that goes along with this scooter. And that app is available for iOS and Android. Now this scooter was pretty comfortable to ride on for what you're getting, especially with something not having any type of front or rear suspension system. And that's mostly due to the padded seat that actually conforms to your butt when you sit down on it. So it has a good amount of cushion on it to really make it very comfortable. And you, then you throw in the fact that this does have some built-in shock absorbers underneath the seat that's really gonna help kind of absorb most of that punishment that you might typically get riding around a vehicle like this on city streets. Now you also have a bag hook, so you can put a couple of your bags there if you do go to the grocery store or something and then also you do have some side reflectors that will help with visibility and this scooter does have um, integrated headlights and tail lights so when you do press down on the brakes that tail light will light up and then also the headlight is, is decent and definitely good enough to be able to light up the way in front of you especially if you're riding in the bike lane or something okay so look i've been testing a lot of electric bikes lately that can go like 34 35 miles per hour and they can go off road and climb mountains and things but it was really refreshing to kind of test this out because this is something that is completely different and it's something that is made for kind of of enjoying the ride when you're going to work but again just going out and trying to enjoy some of that weather so it's definitely very friendly to a lot of people no matter what your skill set is or how fast you want to go or how slow you want to go I think it's a decent enough speed for most people and then also too it's gonna be something that's very fun for um, young people to ride and even old people to get around on and the price is solid too so the normal price is $699 but right now at the time of this video it's on sale for $629 so definitely pay attention to the website to get the latest price but I think it's priced really well for a fun little electric your vehicle to get around town so yeah i can definitely recommend it so look thanks for watching this video and if you're feeling friendly go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this okai beetle and i'll also be putting a link for this thing in the description box so go ahead and click on that link and you can get more information about this and also pick up one for yourself make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button and like always i do want to thank you for watching this video and i will catch you later peace